Alright, in this video I'm going to show you a few really cool things. First off, I'm going to show you how to add an equalizer to any of your playback devices. But two, I'm going to show you how to add microphone boost. So say if you had this at 100 but it's still not loud enough because, you know, some USB microphones are really quiet and they don't have a boost slider like analog microphones usually do. So I'm gonna show you how to add boost. I'm gonna show you how to uh, add like a low cut filter. Maybe you wanna uh, roll off the highs of your microphone, Ad advanced stuff like that, or simple things like boost. So here we go. System wide DSP for Windows. So first thing you have to do is get equalizer APO. So just Google search equalizer APO and it'll be the first thing to come up and it's gonna look like this just go ahead and click the download button and it'll say downloading equalizer APO and once you get it downloaded you will click this so that it will start to install but first off I want to show everyone something okay see this this is the file that I just downloaded yeah, so I made a video over this before and some people were like, oh no, it's a virus, don't download it. No, it's not a virus. Here is Bitdefender Ultimate, I, I don't, whatever the most expensive Bitdefender is. I'm going to scan it so everyone can see it. It's fine. I use this every day. This is not a virus. It's an equalizer. Chill with the comments, okay? Here we go, installing now. Yes, next, I agree, next, install. And here is the part where you select what devices you want to modify. So I'm going to add an equalizer to my speakers and to the headphone out on my Zoom H2N. Now I also want to modify the input on the H2N, so this is my USB microphone. And I'm also going to do it for my sound card. So I'm going to click OK. And you, it'll, it'll say that. I'll show you this later. So all you got to do is click Reboot now. But I'm going to shut down my recording software so I can do that. I'll be right back. Alright, I have just rebooted. And now you should be able to see, at least on Windows 10, this here and in the apps this should be here it depends on how you have your start menu configured but I'm just going to show you how to find it regardless of which version of Windows you're on or anything like that so just go to my computer your local disk program files and equalizer APO and what you want to open is the editor so just double click on that and this is the settings and it looks complicated, but trust me, I'm going to break it all down, and it's really quite simple. So, first thing, just click all these little red, uh, little minus marks. And there's one here, and now we're starting fresh. So, think what devices you want to modify. Do you want to add an equalizer to your speakers? Okay, control, and then include and then you're gonna press this button and you're gonna make a new file a text document and name it whatever corresponds to the device you want to modify so I'm gonna say speakers okay so speakers and then open it and that's telling this to include the settings that you have set for your speakers so to actually edit the settings for the speakers you have to open that and that then just opens the separate text file for the speaker settings and then you have to tell it what your speakers are so you're gonna go to control and device then you're going to uncheck select all devices and select whatever speakers you want to use so I want to use sound blaster play to speakers and then you just select it and select OK. And now it knows to 
apply this equalizer setting to my speakers. So then, what do you want to do to it? Do you want to make them louder? Do you want to make them quieter? Do you want to add a delay? Do you want to add any of this? I want to add a graphic equalizer. I'm just going to select one of them. Now, it's just like a normal equalizer. You can, you can do this and that and whatever. See down here on the bottom, this red part? That means it's peaked. That means your amplifier cannot do this. So, it's not gonna hurt anything, but if you try to play something, it's gonna sound really weird and kind of maybe distorted. So to combat that, you press this button, okay, and you see it shifted everything so that it, nothing goes over zero. If something goes over zero, the amplifier just can't do it, so it just kind of gets quieter to compensate. But if you do it like this, then you don't have any uh, volume shifts because something got loud. It's just preventing clipping. Windows has kind of a soft clipping uh, response to when the amplifier can't put out what you're telling it to. So that is how to combat that. If you want to reset this, you can just click that and it'll reset it. And you can add multiple things, you know. You can play around with this and do whatever you want. I'm just gonna, rem uh, well, I'll just, you know, I'll just add some random stuff to show you. So that is my speaker equalization. Then I want to modify my microphone, right? So I'm gonna include a new file. So, so we're gonna make a file called microphone because that's what I want to mod modify. Microphone, enter, then you select it to open it. And so now we have speakers and microphone. And now on microphone, we also have to, whoops, my bad. We have to open it in the program and tell it what the microphone is. So control device. And we tell it which one our microphone is. You see H2N right here. And so now it knows what to do or which device to modify. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a demonstration that is going to be most widely used. And just, just ignore this down here because it doesn't matter right here. We're going to preamp the microphone. We're going to adjust the gain. So, so what's going to happen is I'm going to just continue talking in a normal volume and I'm going to keep turning this down. And I should be getting quieter and quieter as it goes. It'll go to 20 maybe. Okay, this should be back to normal. If you have a really quiet microphone, you can also make it get louder. Uh, just brace your ears for this because it's going to sound really bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're turning the microphone up, turning the gain up. It's clipping like hell. Now we're back to zero. My microphone's good, so I don't need to do this, but that is the biggest application for this for most people. And I'm just going to leave it at zero. I don't need it. If, if you need a high pass filter, which keeps like really low bass out, you can do that. And you can just play around. If you know what these do, then you obviously know what you need to do. If you don't, well, you don't need it. But anyways, that's basically it. You can do so many cool things with this and it's in real time. It's not just a program running. It is, it's real time, okay? Windows has audio latency problems. That means if you have a program that modifies this kind of thing, you're gonna have a delay. This does not introduce any kind of delay whatsoever. It's real time and high quality. Best you're gonna get on Windows and that's pretty much all I have to say. Hopefully I helped you guys out and I'll see you in the next video.